Hey everyone, this lesson is on your hands and liver health. So more specifically, what your hands can tell you about your liver health. And this is going to look at mostly signs and symptoms of liver disease that can be found by looking at your hands. So the first one is clubbing. So clubbing is a bulbous or bulging enlargement of the distal ends of the fingers and toes. So what that really means is that the end or the tips of your fingers, where you can see at the nail, they become enlarged. And that enlargement reduces the angulation of the nail with respect to the nail plate. So in order to assess if the angulation has changed, you can put your two fingers together like this. So you can put your two index fingers together, put the nails against each other. And if you see an opening like this, this is normal. That indicates a normal angulation. If you were to put your two fingers together like this and you don't see that opening, you see where the angle has changed, that may be a sign that you have clubbing. Clubbing is a painless process and it often occurs bilaterally. If it's due to problems with liver health, you're going to see it bilaterally. So on both sides, both hands are going to be affected. If you only see it on one hand, that might indicate there's poor circulation in that hand. But if you see it on both sides, it's more likely that it's going to be a systemic problem. And although I use clubbing as a sign of possible problems with liver health, clubbing can be a result of many, many other pathologies. So it is associated with hepatic or liver diseases, but it's also associated with many other pathologies, lung problems, heart problems, other conditions. There are even genetic cases where some individuals have it that run in their family. Another finding that can occur in problems with the liver includes something called leukonychia. So leuko is a prefix meaning white. So white spots on the nail can occur. This is leukonychia here. So you can see these little white spots if you look at your nails. This is related to hypoalbuminemia. So hypoalbuminemia is a medical condition involving low albumin in the blood. Your liver makes albumin. Albumin is the most abundant protein in your blood. So if you see white spots on the nail or where you see your nail has become more and more white, this may be a sign of hypoalbuminemia, low albumin in the blood. Another possible sign of issues with liver health includes what are known as Murky's nails or lines. Sorry for the pronunciation. So Murky's nails or Murky's lines look like this, these lines that are present in the nails. It's also known as apparent leukonychia striata, and it's caused by or related to hypoalbuminemia again. So a low albumin in the blood, and as we mentioned before, the liver is responsible for making albumin. If there's an issue with liver functioning and the liver is not able to produce albumin like it should, it can lead to low albumin in the blood, and this can lead to findings like Murky's nails. And I just want to point out that although I say the liver is responsible for making albumin, and that is true, we can get hypoalbuminemia from other causes as well, including malnutrition. So if there's not enough protein in one's diet, this can lead to low albumin states and also issues with renal functioning. So if an individual is urinating out albumin, they can lose albumin and have low albumin as well. So hypoalbuminemia is not only caused by liver issues, it can be caused by other issues as well. And Murky's nails can result from local edema within the nail bed as well. Another sign we can see on the hands in individuals who have issues with liver health are red lanula. So here is a red lanula here on this person's nail. And lanula are these moon-shaped portions of the nail, and they're normally white in appearance. You can see it here on these nails, it's white, but in individuals with cirrhosis oftentimes or liver failure, they can have red lanula. So the lanula can become red in coloration. Another possible sign of liver disease is spider nevus or the plural spider nevi. Spider nevi are these spider-shaped or web-shaped areas of dilation of vasculature. So you can see images like this. These are due to elevated levels of estrogen. The liver clears estrogen. It metabolizes estrogen. If the liver is not being able to do that properly, estrogen levels can rise. And we can see these changes in vasculature. So we can see issues with spider nevus or spider nevi. Another sign is palmar erythema. 
So palmar erythema is reddening of the palms. So redness on the palms of the hand. And we can see this most often in the hypothenar border here. So very red, but you can see these spots of redness across the palms. And again, this is due to blood vessel dilation, similar to the mechanism in spider nevi. Again, caused by increased estrogen levels. Again, the liver metabolizes estrogen. If the liver is not doing that properly, estrogen levels can rise, and we're going to see signs like this. Another sign of liver disease is asterixis. Now, this is more specifically a sign of liver failure or cirrhosis, and more specifically hepatic encephalopathy. So where ammonia levels rise and an individual has encephalopathy, so issues with cognition related to that process. So asterixis is where we get an individual to put their arms straight in front of them with their wrists lifted like this, get the patient to hold the wrists out like that, get them to close their eyes and hold. If they're not able to, if they drop their wrists and the wrist comes back up, we call that a tremor flap. That is asterixis. So that is a very brief description. But if you want to see what asterixis really looks like, please look up a video on this. It occurs bilaterally, so on both sides. And it's related to hepatic encephalopathy, but other metabolic diseases as well, including renal failure. We can also see issues with itching or pruritus. And this is due to retained bile salts and bile acids. So if the liver is not clearing bile salts and bile acids properly, it can lead to a buildup of bile acids and bile salts in the blood. And this can cause itching, itching on many different parts of the body, including the hands. We can also see petechiae and purpura on the hands. So these are superficial bleeding under the skin, so these little red spots. And this is due to low platelet levels, or what we call thrombocytopenia, from an enlarged spleen, which is what we call splenomegaly. So an enlarged spleen can occur because of blood not being able to go through the liver properly. So blood backs up, backs up into the spleen, and the spleen gets larger. And the spleen has a purpose of destroying platelets. If the spleen gets too large, it destroys too many platelets. We get low platelet levels. We get thrombocytopenia. And when we have low platelet levels, we can have superficial bleeding occur. And this is what causes these petechiae purpura. We can also see easy bruising as a possible sign of issues with liver health. And we can see bruising on the hands. This is due to low coagulation factors. The liver produces coagulation factors. And if there are low coagulation factors, if the liver has issues not being able to produce coagulation factors the way it should, this can lead to increased risk or increased ease of bruising. We can also see temperature changes in the hands in liver disease. So we can see temperatures of the extremities like the hands and the feet changing with different stages of liver disease. So in some stages, we can see the hands becoming very, very warm. In some other stages, the hands can become very, very cold. We can also see Dupuytren's contracture in liver disease as well. So Dupuytren's contracture is this phenomenon here. So we can see where one finger is contracted. And we can see here, there's a couple of examples. And Dupuytren's contracture is associated with alcoholic and non-alcoholic liver disease. And the exact underlying mechanism is unknown at this time. Some other findings we can see on the hands include skin bronzing. So we can see on the hands and other parts of the body a change in skin tone. So skin bronzing. So darkening of skin tone. And this skin bronzing occurs in hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis is a metabolic condition where an individual absorbs too much iron and they have iron deposition in different organs like the liver, which can cause liver failure. And we see skin bronzing. So we see iron deposition in the skin causing this change or darkening of skin tone. So we're not going to see this skin bronzing in other types of liver diseases, but we're going to see it in hemochromatosis related liver disease. We can also see melanonychia as well. So this is where the nail bed changes or darkens in color, melanonychia. So melano meaning dark or black. So this is darkening of the nail. And this can be caused by a variety of medications and disease conditions, again, including hemochromatosis. So that iron can deposit in the nail itself, causing a darkening of the nail. So these last two findings are not specific to liver disease, but they're more specific to a cause of liver disease, hemochromatosis. So that issue of having too much iron 
having an issue with increased iron absorption and iron deposition in different parts of the body, including the liver, where this can cause liver failure and can cause findings on the hands like skin bronzing and melanonychia. So if you want to learn more about other signs and symptoms of liver disease, please check my lesson on that topic. And if you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.